Okay, what I did first is I removed the tank, two 10 millimeter bolts here. I disconnected the fuel line at both of the petcocks. Um, I just like to take a little pair of pliers, just kind of massage the line back and forth a little bit just to break it loose and um, then pop them both off once it's kind of it's loose enough to come off so got that off got the tank off the tank was pretty much full of fuel um, real close to being full of fuel so it was pretty heavy to get off but uh, got it to pop off here's my master cylinder I am going to um, flush that and change that fluid the fluid and it's very dark so I know it hasn't been done in a long time but um, I'll do that a little bit later before I put the tank back on. So I'm going to take that off first. Um, I'm going to remove these uh, carb intake um, hoses next so I can get the air cleaner compartment off. And uh, that's where we'll go next on this one. Okay, what I did here on the left hand side was I removed the, uh, the boot completely or the, the uh, uh, intake hose and I removed this left side here that holds the choke cable and everything on it um, to get to the air cleaner I took the air cleaner out this air cleaner is very dirty I'm gonna replace that um, and also one thing I was looking at here and I noticed when I first bought this bike that the, the clutch cables themselves moved really hard um, so I think I'm going to look into replacing these clutch cables as well um, next I'm going to loosen this bolt here I don't know if you can see it inside it's kind of dark but there's a bolt here that holds the right hand side of the air cleaner um, housing on so I'm going to remove that air hose or uh, air cleaner assembly out um, so I can get it out of the way to remove the transmission um, let me see um, choke cables and forgot to record any of it but um, I'll show you how I put them back together and then I'll show you how to put them back on the bike um, and that will kind of explain the same just the backwards area of how they come off um, you have to take the little barrels off of the old cables and reuse them on the new cables and they have the end that goes in the choke housing has this little metal piece on it that rides that that this piece goes on and it slides in and you have the gear of your choke handle um, moves these teeth back and forth which pulls your cable uh, to turn your choke on and off so I'll show you how I put it back together. I already got one in here, and um, the short side, the short cable goes on the outside. The longer cable goes on the inside um, next to the housing of the screw there. And um, I'll show you how I put this together. Okay, I hope this is in the frame of the video, okay? Um, what I did putting the other side in was I just used a screwdriver to kind of hold the teeth up the right direction because they will try to flip over on you when you're um, tightening tightening this barrel on there. So you just slide it in the cable like that and I flipped it over and hopefully this other one doesn't try to flip over while I'm inserting this one. So just slide it in until they're up the right direction then I just put this flat blade screwdriver down on it to hold it from rotating because it will rotate in the housing. And let's see if I can get it where I can get a grip on it and tighten it down. See that one just rotated over on me. So I've got both of these on. Let me grab the gear. I'm going to slide the gear on. I wanted to clean that up and lube it a little bit. So hold on a second while I do that. All right, I hope this is in the shot. But here's the lever that goes on there. So I'm just going to try to slide this in and get it to connect back up. And that should hold the barrel from flipping over. So I just put a little grease on the inside of this wheel. And I'm going to rotate this over. 
hope that's in the shot and just tighten this barrel down and then you can should be able to move that and both cables should go down I don't have it all put back together And they're both moving there. All right. So I'm gonna um, probably gonna go ahead and mount this on the bike. I I did lube these cables with some uh, chain wax. That's usually what I use on my cables. Um, it's for chain and cables. And then once I get this back on the bike, I'll tighten tighten these down all the way. Um, and then you have to take your barrels off of the other end of the cables too and they just thread back on to this part of the little spring in your cable and uh, we should have these ready to go and should be nice new cables my other ones were all cracked up and really stiff so this should be help that out a lot all right now on the inside of this um, choke housing or choke cable housing whatever you want to call it there is one of these wavy washers which is covered in gunk so that wavy washer sits in here I guess that kind of is like a, a lock to keep it from moving by itself so it gives it a little bit of tension it's like a spring and then the inside piece goes on like this and then you just th thread this back on to the um, left side of the air cleaner housing so, and there's a nut and washer behind oops, on the air house uh, air cleaner housing right here that that all screws into so what I'm going to do um, before before I put this on, I'm going to clean these few pieces up here and I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the inside of this as well. Okay, so I've got this greased up some, didn't go crazy with it, just a little bit on there. And then I'm going to feed it through, if it'll go through, back through the housing. that's in frame I've got very limited space over here on this side of the garage all right so I'm just going to screw this through until the screw comes out trick's still moving okay on the choke like so or on the air cleaner side uh, I don't think that's threaded all the way through so I'm gonna thread this bolt all the way through here slides right onto the air cleaner housing and then you have your nut and bolt that goes on the back right there so I'm going to go ahead and screw this all together I've got to take the other choke cable I don't know if you can see it right there off you can see how cracked up and and nasty that one looks so I'm going to 
take that one off and then we're going to get ready to set this up onto the carb. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I just slid this housing back on here. Um, make sure your fuel line's pulled through. And I am going to just put the bolt back through. And tighten it down to get the air cleaner back on this side. So, I'm just putting this on for now, and um, I'm going to plug this with some paper towels, and the reason I'm not going to hook the carbs and everything back up, or these carbs are pretty nasty. Um, bike ran great, so I'm just going to try to blast off some of this, all this gunk that's on the sides of the carbs. It looks like they, oops, looks like they haven't been cleaned in a very long time. So I'm going to clean the outside. I'm going to pop the cover, off, um, the bowl off here. Take a look inside. I did get new bowl gaskets for this, even though they didn't seem to be leaking. I just wanted to check them out and make sure that they you know, the bowls were clean. I wanted to have a set of gaskets just in case they um, ripped when I took the bowls off. So probably just do that and do a good flush on it, and I'll do that at some other time. But um, uh, you can see here how the uh, choke cable goes back on. Just This is a 7 millimeter, I believe, is what I used to take that off. I hope that's in this in the picture. Let me move the camera down a little bit. Um, 7 millimeter, so we'll um, make sure you take these barrels off here because they have to be reused on the new cables. So I'm probably going to take those off here in a minute and just put those on the new cables, even though I'm not going to hook everything up right now, but I don't want to forget about it and actually accidentally throw them away or something. Um, but I believe this is 7 millimeters. And then I'll um, look up in the book of how to set these choke cables. I don't know if there's a measurement to, check, to set them properly, if there's a measurement down from the barrel here, or if it's just something you do once you get the bike running. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. All right, now to get back to the choke cables. So what I did with the choke cable was just run it back through, make sure you don't forget your nut here, and then ran it through the little hole in the bottom of the arm. And so now we're going to tighten this little hold uh, a little nut down here on the arm that holds the cable in place. It's a seven millimeter, yeah, seven millimeter. Um, so it fits on that. So we're just going to tighten that choke cable back in there. And we're probably going to have to do some adjustment on this too. So. Just getting it snug so it holds that cable so it just doesn't pull out. And now this carb should be ready to go back on and um, we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side the same way. Um, we've got some adjustments still we can make here on the choke cable. We'll probably have to do afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and get the other side set up and then I'll be back when we go to put this car back on. All right, this is why I'm glad I changed the clutch, or the, sorry, the choke cables. Um, when I took the one off the left side of the bike, it was broken. It was still working. I guess there was just enough room for it to keep pushing up and down on the choke cable. But when I released the choke cable at the bottom and started to pull this out, it fell right apart. So I'm glad I changed those. So now we're going to put the um, carburetor back on and what I like to do is take a little rubbing alcohol and rub around these rubber boots 
Rubbing alcohol gives it a little lubrication, helps everything to kind of slide on, but then it evaporates and doesn't leave that sticky residue where you can't get it off the next time. Um, it works really good. You have to work kind of fast because it will dry. And I left the other intake boot over here. Um, it will dry rather quickly, although it's pretty cold right now, so I think I've got a little bit of time. So we're just going to rub the inside of these boots so they slide back on easily. I think those clamps are back behind on the side. best way to get this on so it just slid right on pretty easy but I've got this back piece to get in there ah, come on. Let's see if we can get it to slide out on there all at once or Fun thing is when you're doing something for the first time, you have to figure the German puzzle out. There we go. All right, so we got it back on. Now I'm just going to tighten the clamps down. This clamp's rotated the wrong way. I think these clamps were up higher. So we'll get these tightened down and we'll get ready to put the fuel tank on. And uh, yeah, should be good to go. And we'll have to set the choke cables and Go from there. So it's coming along. So you know, this is first time doing this for me. So I'm learning as I go, and uh, hope you're getting something out of these videos. Um, but that's pretty much how you do the choke cables and the throttle cables. I'm going to go ahead and do the same procedure with the clutch cable and the uh, brake cable because this has a brake cable that runs down to the master cylinder so I'm going to do the same thing on lubing those as I just did probably not going to film it again because it's the same basic principle just when you're doing I don't know if you can see up here when you're doing these cables just put a little grease on the barrel or my, the barrel that sits in here just to give it a little lubrication because that's always moving back and forth and uh, everything else should be the same and the same with the clutch cable down here at the bottom just uh, put some grease on that barrel before you slide it back in just to like I said give it that lubrication as it's working so that's pretty much it on the cables that I'm gonna do if I think of something else while I'm doing it I'll add that to it but Thank you for watching these videos. I know it's going to be broken up a little bit because I was doing the final drive and the oil uh, fluid change on that. I will have more videos on this bike. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.